Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Chris, the All-American Wideman, and one of the best for over a decade, Vitor Belfort. Vitor Belfort enters the octagon tonight with one goal, and that is to become the new UFC middleweight champion. Vitor is primarily known for his blinding punching speed. He has explosive striking and a lot of impressive knockouts. He's got a great amount of experience in the sport and has been facing championship level competition since the late 90s. Vitor Belfort enters the octagon, looking to become the new UFC champion. He's ready to put on a show. Chris Weidman, in becoming a UFC middleweight champion, defeated the greatest champion of all time in Anderson Silva. And he did it with incredible confidence. Set to fight Vitor, the Phenom Belfort. Our tale of the day for this middleweight championship fight. Belfort is seven years his elder. Weidman will have a four-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Action begins. Our referee in charge, Eve Lave. And now, this is the moment UFC fans have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Eve. Championship of the world. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 10 losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Victor the Piedmont Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Minneola, New York, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight Champion of the world, Chris, the All-American Wildman! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Not trunks for the champion. 
Vitor Belfort's opponent has the reach advantage tonight. What will he need to do, Joe, to get inside and be effective? He's got to utilize timing and footwork. He's got to figure out what the distance is where his opponent can hit him, and he's got to figure out the right time to move inside that distance. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Big swing and a miss. He looks for the single leg takedown, but doesn't get it. Nice left, left kick to the body. He throws the right and misses. Oh, he clipped him there. Good defense with the parry. Man, he connected with that front kick. He's looking to set up the head kick. Front kick by Weidman. Missed that shot. Nice kick, Joe. Tries for a low single. Oh, and down. Bill Ford's trying to isolate that leg. That leg looks locked up pretty tight. Can he finish the fight here? It is pretty tight, Mike. That knee bar looks deep. Any second now, he it's might have to tap. Incredible. It is just absolutely over. incredible. Vitor Belfort wins by submission. He used excellent technique, established the position, got the tap. Once again, here's our fight replay. We can see this one more time here for this knee bar. Perfect positioning, massive amount of leverage on that knee and forces that tap. And here we see one more time, perfect position on this leg lock, absolute leverage on that knee, forces the tap. Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official decision. Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a knee bar and knee. is the new UFC middleweight champion. You know what they're doing, some of the schools are both standards. Never did, never did inflict this damage. Never met a bird that I would have liked a weapon just brandish.